Welcome to Thiranath Chemistry Classes. This video is about intermediate first year preparation plan for public examinations. There two more questions. We have the preparation plan for public examination in the fifth video. So, we have the video in Essays and four marks questions who even wrote on the cover of one of the unattended juice. Yellow chadi the kind of minimum runde sailu, aru short look cover yo thanga yellow cheese the kind of company. Remaining nalig video lo, mud video lo, two marks questions are discussed session. So, this video lo discuss the two marks questions are not only level two lo one twenty two marks questions who and they. Manaki general go very short answer questions who Paduntai and Tilsu. Minimum Manapoka five to six Kachatanga Chala easy questions of one type. Maybe a one or two, maybe more maximum two to three questions. Matrame Manaki Punchum moderate to difficult level load at the So a difficult level load at the Tanaki, even one of the video of Chabotnam. So please like the video, share and subscribe the channel. So first one is SI F62 minus is known while SI CL62 minus is not explained. So there are two reasons. E SI F62 minus exists out in the whereas SI CL62 minus doesn't exist. Why? In the context of conductor, if six large chloride ions cannot, cannot be accommodated around them. SI4 plus ion due to its limitation of its size. And the second one is interaction between the lone pair of chloride ion and SI4 plus ion is not very strong. The next one is carbon never show coordination number greater than 4, while other members of carbon family show coordination number as high as 6. Explain. So if you take in group 14 elements, carbon uh, never shows coordination number greater than 4, whereas other members show Six. Why? The reason is carbon doesn't have vacant d orbitals, whereas other members of the 14th group elements, group 14 elements have vacant d orbitals. The next one is write an account of SiCl4. We know that in SiCl4, silicon is in sp3 hybridization and molecule is in tetrahedral shape. It undergoes hydrolysis by initially accepting lone pair of electrons from water molecule in diorbitals of silicon finally leading to the formation of silicic acid si oh four times here we need to learn one more question uh, the in group 14 elements the halides of group 14 elements ccl4 carbon tetrachloride and sicl4 silicon tetrachloride carbon tetrafluoride carbon tetrachloride doesn't undergo hydrolysis whereas SiCl4 undergoes hydrolysis. Here also the reason is due to the lack of weakened d orbitals in carbon, whereas availability of weakened d orbitals in SiCl4. So the next one is metal borides are used as a protective shield. Why? So this is from group 13 elements. So in metal borides, the boron has two isotopes, B10 and B11. The B10 isotope of boron has the ability to absorb neutrons and hence it is used to protective shield and control rod material in nuclear industry. So next one is, is Bruce boric acid is a protic acid? Explain. So boric acid is not a protic acid. It is a weak monobasic acid and it acts as a Lewis acid by accepting electron from hydroxyl ion. It is not a protic acid. It is acting as a Lewis acid by accepting electrons from hydroxyl ion. Then next one is why KO2 is paramagnetic. So we know that uh, this is a question from alkaline, alkali metals, S block elements, group one elements. So why KO2 is paramagnetic? It is due to the presence of unpaid electrons in anti-bonding orbitals, molecular orbital, 5 star 2p, x star 2p, y, molecular orbital. The next one is, 
Why are the carbides of beryllium and aluminium are called methanides? So uh, that's due to on hydrolysis of the carbides of beryllium and aluminium produces methane. That's why these are called methane. That's why these are called uh, carbides of the So the next one is draw the, draw the structure of beryllium chloride solid. So this is the structure of beryllium chloride solid. So the next one is give the formula of borox and polomanite. So this is from group 13 elements. So borox is Na2B4O7. Polomanite is Ca2B6O11.5H2. Next one is both carbon tetrachloride and silicon tetrachloride as a stable octet of, cent octet of central atoms, but SiCl4 is a stick white. So uh, in SiCl4, silicon has a vacant dr pulse. It can form coordinate covalent bonds with the oxygen of water. Hence, it dissolves in water. In CCl4, as carbon doesn't have vacant dr orbitals, uh, it uh, doesn't undergo hydrolysis. The next one is producer gas is less efficient fuel than water gas. Water gas has a high calorific value than producer gas. That's why it is a more efficient fuel than producer gas. The next one is why gypsum is added to cement. To, so it is due to the slow down the process of setting of cement so that it gets sufficiently hardened. What happens when magnesium burns in air? When magnesium burns in air, it forms magnesium oxide and magnesium nitride. It reacts with oxygen in the air and forms magnesium oxide and with nitrogen forms magnesium nitride. So, so the next one is define the term eutrophication. Eutrophication is a process in which nutrient enriched water bodies support a dense plant population which kills the animal life by diving, diving it of oxygen and results in the subsequent loss of biodiversity. So this is the question from environmental chemistry. Next one is what is green chemistry? Utilization of existing knowledge based for reducing the chemical hazards along with the development of activities in the foundation is the foundation of green chemistry. Next one is, what is the effect of temperature on vapor pressure and surface tension? So we need to learn vapor pressure and surface with definitions of vapor pressure and surface tension also. So vapor pressure increases with increasing temperature and surface tension decreases with the increase in temperature. Next one is, define the terms standard enthalpy of combustion. So standard enthalpy of combustion is the enthalpy change per mole of substance when it undergoes combustion and all the reactants and products we are being in the standard states as specified temperature. So the standard enthalpy of combustion is the amount of heat evolved when one mole of substance is completely burnt in their standard state at the specified temperature. Here only we have to learn what is the standard enthalpy of formation. When one mole of compound is formed from its elements in their standard state, it is called standard enthalpy of formation. This is the, these are questions from the thermodynamics, standard enthalpy of formation, standard enthalpy of combustion, standard enthalpy of combustion. Here also, we need to learn some more terms. What are extensive properties and what are intensive properties? The extensive properties means the properties which depends on the mass of the substance are called extensive properties. The examples are mass, volume, internal energy, enthalpy, all these are examples for the extensive properties. Intensive properties means the properties which do not depend on the mass of the substance are called intensive properties. For example, temperature, pressure, then uh, density, all these are examples for the standard and all of uh, intensive and extensive properties. Then next one is state function, path function. What is the state function and what is a path function? The functions, the properties which depends only on the initial and final states are called state functions, which depends on the path are called path functions. So examples for the state function are internal energy, enthalpy, gives the free energy, entropy or state functions. Whereas path function 
So in the state function and path function. Similarly, it defines Cp and Cv. So Cp is the heat capacity at the constant pressure. Cv is the heat capacity at the constant volume. So heat capacity at the constant pressure is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a body at, by one degree at its con at constant pressure. Similarly, Cv means the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a body at constant volume. So we need to learn how to derive Cp minus Cv is equal to R. Similarly, uh, we need to learn what is the input, sorry, what is uh, Gibbs free energy. So Gibbs free energy is the combined form of enthalpy and entropy. So it is defined as G is equal to H minus Ts. Here, next one is what are significant figures? These are the meaningful digits which are known with certainty. The uncertainty in the experimental values is indicated by mentioning the number of significant figures. So these are the, some of the important questions which we need to learn for to get 60 out of 60. Thank you for watching Tranath Chemistry classes. Please like, share and subscribe the channel.